not have a belt, use your shoelace. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and before I get into today's video, I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you. Um, since I've started YouTube, I post, I've been trying to post weekly for about six, seven weeks now and I have a couple videos on my channel and that may not seem like a lot but I've gotten a ton of feedback on my Instagram and just in the YouTube comments and people like shooting me messages saying like all these, all these positive things about me making videos and as someone who's really new to YouTube and someone who's trying to get into it, just little things like that honestly mean the world to me. So I just want to say thank you everyone for all the support. All the comments, I re I've read every comment I've gotten and I in no way want to make it seem like I have an audience or like I'm hyping myself up, but I just wanted to, to not go unmentioned that like the people who have actually watched my videos and taken time to like comment something or shoot me a message, like that means the world to me and I really do appreciate that. I feel like with YouTube and like any kind of social media, everyone gets so overwhelmed with like the number of views you get and kind of the subscriber count or the followers and whatnot like that if you're posting consistently and consistently good content I feel like that will all come naturally and I didn't know if I was gonna make a video today just because I was in traffic for like three hours today and I didn't know if I would have time but if you're watching this I have time man I don't know if this video is really gonna be too informative for those of you who have a Z or like 370 or 350 but to me I didn't know any of this stuff before I bought the car so hopefully this will bring some value to those of you who are thinking about getting a 370 or are like myself and are fairly new to owning a Z Okay, a lot of the things I found about the 370Z is that it has a lot of things that you can do with the key fob that at least I didn't know right when I bought the car. So if you actually hold the unlock button down for I think it's three seconds, the both windows actually roll down, which on like a hot day you can roll it down before getting in the car, but it's cool. So if you press the unlock button, Okay, I'm counting this as the second thing, but for this one, all you do is you take the key out of the fob. Once you take the key out of the fob, you just put it into the door, and then you turn it counterclockwise, and you hold it for, I think, three seconds. Then the window rolls up. The yeah, camera is actually really bad, and we're kind of in like a parking garage, so it might echo, so maybe you're gonna be able to hear this. But number three, the third thing you can do with the fob that is actually super cool, and I don't know if it's like this for a lot of cars, but it's at least like this for the 370Z. So if you hold both lock and unlock button on the fob for five seconds, it'll actually change when you lock and unlock the car from making a sound to making it quiet. Right now, when I lock the car, like it, it doesn't make any noise other than like the mechanism itself actually locking and like it, it doesn't make any sound. And I, that's not personally how I like it. But if you want to change that to make it just like any other car when it beeps when you press the unlock button, all you have to do is you just hold the lock and unlock button on your key fob for I think like three seconds. And then it beeps. So like now you can press the lock button. I usually press it like 50 times to know it's locked. And then unlock. Unlock is quiet, so that doesn't really do anything. But if you want to change it back, all you have to do is hold the lock and unlock button. And yeah, then it's quiet again. The thing I wanted to talk about, um, when you adjust the steering wheel, you do not you not only adjust the steering wheel, but you also adjust the cluster behind it. So like all it is is like most cars, there's a little lever underneath, you pull that back. And then when you put the steering wheel down, like the entire cluster setup comes with it. Like I, I like that so much more than other cars when you just adjust the wheel, like this makes it perfect whenever you need to look at the speedometer or like the, the RPM gauge. It's, it's awesome, man, I like it. And then it just clicks back into place and like, the entire cluster along with the wheel is positioned perfectly. I love it. So to open up the gas gauge on this car, all you have to do is you press it in and then it pops open. So when you push it in like this and then you press lock on your key fob, oh, again with the key fob, but if you press, if you lock it, like it actually doesn't come unlocked anymore. My phone to film this fourth thing, but if you see this little plastic mechanism right here, um, on mine, it actually broke off, so I don't... Hopefully this provides some value to a current 370 owner or a future 370 owner. 
I wish I would have known some of this stuff before I bought a Z, or like I wish I would have found out about it before, just because it's kind of cool. Like a lot of this stuff I picked up from just like me owning the car and like. But like I actually sat on my keys, and when I was sitting on my keys, like the windows rolled down. It was the weirdest thing, and I was like, "What the hell? How those roll down?" Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see more of down in the comment section below. I'm trying to post a little bit more on my Instagram about my car and stuff. So if you want to keep up with the build and see what I'm doing with it, check out my Instagram, man. It's just at the David Runner. Um, I've had some people ask me like, so is your channel a car channel? And as of right now, I think every video I've made other than like my first few videos that were really bad were all about cars and stuff. And in the future, I would like to make videos other than like cars and stuff. But as of right now, I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. And I think there's a lot of stuff I can do with the 370. Thank you guys for watching. Okay, this does not count as one of the five things, but every time you start up the car, all the gauges do like this cool little back. The fourth thing, oh my gosh, like that's my favorite part about the car. I, I was gonna end the video, but I just wanted to say one thing. Someone has asked me like, oh my gosh, I wanna start a YouTube channel. I'm not like, a, I'm not a YouTuber. I wouldn't even consider myself a YouTuber. I make videos every once in a while and I'm trying to become a YouTuber, but like, you're not gonna get it just by like wanting to do it. Take the first step and like, create a YouTube account. I'm a strong believer, like if you're not ashamed of like the first thing that you made, you started too late because I think throughout making these videos, like it's gonna be a learning process, not as, as well as like content creating. So my best advice is like, go out and like do something. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be a motivational guy, but I'm just saying like so many people, I want to start a YouTube channel. Like go for it, man, who, who cares? There's a lot of good that can come from it, so do it.